We're looking at Everlong and looking at the different strumming patterns that are happening at the very start. So we've got our uh, ninth fret on the A string, 11th fret on the D string and a drop D. So we're going to go, there's kind of three main patterns. Here's the first one. So you get... That's kind of the first strumming pattern which repeats then over the next chord which is just a bar on the ninth fret. And then, yeah, so you get, it's kind of, that's the first one, first strumming pattern, but there's kind of two parts for it um, in the two different bars. Then the second pattern that we get is when we move down to the fifth fret. And that is repeated when we move up to, back to the ninth fret. So there's actually two main parts, but in the first one, there are actually two distinct bars. So I'll just play through the whole thing one more time. 